Good morning and hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Soundberry Burrows. My name is Heidi and I am going to finish the second part of my first sketchbook of 2023. Here, let me, oh, that might be better. Now there's a shadow here. Oh, that's my phone. Okay, my phone is casting a shadow on the page. You can kind of see it. What if I move it a little? There we go. It's not quite centered then, but at least there's no shadow on it. So, um, I did part one of my sketchbook tour and it kind of, um, I had some technical difficulties and so I, uh, I have to finish it now. I'm going to finish it now. It was a lot of fun. So on this page, um, is where we left off. And so if you want to see what's on this page, go look for part one of, uh, I'll, I'll uh, go look for part one of this video. It'll be the, the most recent one I loaded, uploaded. And so to start this one, we start with this page here. Um, this page here, I did when I was having a really bad day. And um, I have, uh, I've watched videos of, of certain uh, of different artists and um, there are some uh, some artists who do art specifically for the technical um, the technical skills uh, the technical joy of it they maybe want to capture movement perspective um, you know a, a proper values and um, I strive to increase on those things but my main purpose for doing my art is for expression and and there are some artists apparently who feel like expression is not important for art and I, I was really shocked by that but um, I find it one of the most important things at least uh, for me and how how I uh, how I do my art and that day I just was not feeling very valuable um, so Anyway, I thought about should I put this in my sketchbook uh, tour, but I decided that yes, I would put it in my sketchbook tour because it is just part of my life. And so we can talk about that a little. Um, here's another in the kitchen section, and that day I was pretty busy in the kitchen. Um, I made hamburger buns and zucchini bread and hard-boiled eggs and pizza dough and I did not get to the peanut butter and I actually didn't do the dishes that day even though I said definitely dishes because I was having a, a bummer of a day that day but I I know I did the dishes very very much the next day um, I got to see my brother on January 29th and that was really nice actually I got to see him on the 28th I'm not sure how all this is working out now, date-wise, but on the 29th, I drew a picture of my brother with his new puppy. Um, his new puppy is named Axel Angus, and at that point, I hadn't met the puppy, but now I have, and he's absolutely adorable. And if I do a sketchbook tour of the next sketchbook, um, you'll see another, at least one more little drawing of him. Um, and then I drew a couple of our kitties, um, Foggy who is an orange kitty, and Lugosi, who is a black kitty, but I drew an orange. And it's so hard when they move around, you know, to, to capture anything. Um, I did another blind contour drawing over top of a watercolor of this one time of a green pepper. And then I th drew this picture here um, with my Lyra markers, my Lyra du Aqua, Aqua Duo brush. And I thought, what would it be like if I like took my brush and got it wet and just, you know, pushed it, pulled it down like that over the whole picture. And I really liked that. I thought it was a really neat effect. And I like how the eyes are peeking out. It looks kind of creepy. And like I said in the first video, fun and creepy. That's kind of a thing. Uh, that's kind of me. Um, not that that's all of who I am, of course, but... Um, I went to, I was at my mom's and so I drew the cup that I use for my coffee when I'm at my mom's and I love it because it has little ghosties on it and just like my new sweater has ghosties on it. 
I was at work and my boot, the bottom of it, I knew I needed new boots, but the bottom of it came off here. Um, and so it was like quacking like a duck as I was trying to walk. So I had to ask for a ride home and my shoes were getting wet and it was cold. And we were just going into a, a week of really cold weather. We'd had warm weather a lot, but we were going into a week of cold weather and my boots were not great and I couldn't get any new boots for like a week. So I just, I had to wear my shoes and I wore like four pairs of socks, uh, hand knit wool socks and a couple of other pairs of just uh, Halloween socks underneath. And I made it, I made it through. Here's some more experimenting with, okay, what happens if I do pictures in Aqua, the Lyra Aqua Duo brushes and then add water. This time I did in a circular pattern and I used contrasting colors and it kind of looks like tie-dye and I thought that was kind of neat and then I did uh, ink over top of it on this page it was my husband's 49th birthday and so I drew a couple pictures of him uh, using the same photo and this one I did a similar um, similar style to the other one uh, where I just took the brush and pulled it down uh, and green is his favorite color. And then my son said he looks like that creature from the Black Lagoon. And so I called him the husband from the Black Lagoon. But yeah, I think he's he's startlingly handsome, of course. And here's some more experimenting with uh, with that same sort of technique. You know, if I pull this way, if I have the picture on this side and I pull the water this way. What does that look like? If I have this here and I pull it that way, what does it look like? This is a picture I use a lot just because I have a picture of myself in this pose, but I don't know if it ever exactly looks like me, but that's not my purpose for this anyway. I'm not going necessarily for likeness. It's just nice to have a picture to work from and then I can just uh, do it. I'm always trying to think of proportions and and that, but I'm not focusing so much on is it actually going to look like me? So, um, it was Groundhog Day. I'm not sure I'm in agreement anymore with Groundhog Day, but um, in that way, I saw one where there was a, a person dressed up like a groundhog to see his shadow. I thought that was fantastic. And I do believe that may be the future of Groundhog Day. We certainly don't need to keep little animals away in cages to be gawked at most of the year and brought out. I don't know how they look. If you're someone who's in charge of a groundhog, please don't be upset with me. I just, you know, think maybe we can move on from that and and have ourselves be, be the mascots. Uh, also, um, out uh, on the East Coast, Lucy the Lobster uh, is, is uh, what they use instead of uh, groundhog. So I decided to draw a picture of a cute little groundhog I saw on uh, on the internet. So I'm just gonna check and see how this is lining up. Oh, that's pretty good. Hi, hi everybody. Good to see you. Okay. Um, we had a meeting with a lawyer I've, I've never met, but um, he's been wonderful with some things that we needed to do. And I found a picture of someone online who I think might be him and I kind of drew him. But again, I, I, I'm not really sure. I wouldn't say to him, hey, you know, this is you. Um, I don't, but again, I, I had no portrait markers. Now I have portrait markers, so my coloring is kind of uh, different and I would like to get better with that. Here's a cat sleeping. So I was able to actually get a picture of the cat down sleeping on a chair. And I did a little experiment. Um, does this pen bleed in water? Um, and at the time I knew which pen it was, but now I have no idea because I seem to be going through a bazillion pens. That noise is my coffee brewing. It is early in the morning and I really dig my early morning coffee and I didn't think about that when I started filming this. So please excuse my coffee noise or
or perhaps it will inspire you to also get a hot beverage that you enjoy. So in the future, I will, uh, in the future, I will mark what this pen is. If I do a little test like that, I'll try and remember to write what the pen is so that I know. I planted seeds, the first seeds of the 2023 garden on February 23rd, and I planted pink celery, and I planted loofah. Loofah is um, not really easy to grow in this section of the world that I live in, so I start it really early, and then try and keep it alive inside until it's warm enough to put out, which would be the end of May early June and then see what happens even if um, and then I, I put it in my greenhouse and keep it in the greenhouse all summer my little tiny greenhouse and uh, we'll see if I get any I didn't get any loofahs last year not even any little little uh, plants like little fruit but maybe this year I don't know try it for a few years and see what we can do um, Tom Thumb Lettuce some Violetio, Di Verona Cabbage, Paris Island Lettuce, Calendula, Tom Thumb Peas, and Kale. So they've all sprouted now, at least some of them. And uh, we are, today we are February the 19th. So <coughs> they've all got nice little seedlings happening. It's time for me to get on my next round of things I'm going to plant. This one, I did a skull, um, just a, a skull on my, I didn't look at a picture or anything, I just drew a skull. And then I, uh, <coughs> I said, hmm, what would happen if I put a face over it? And that's what I came up with. Um, I, I see that next time I, the eyes should be more centered in, uh, in the, the orbital sockets. And the nose, I made the nose, uh, nasal opening very small it should be much taller but all in all it was a good experiment and I think I'll try it again I wanted to make sure that I did I don't know I wanted to put something dynamic in there so I tried to make sure her hair was moving anyway so that it was at least some sort of movement or, or dynamic action in this simple little piece here's a little note about making the eyes more center in the sockets the eyeballs Oh, and we are on the last page. Self-portrait value study. So I just did a real quick throwdown of uh, using that same picture that I've been using. And um, just like splatted some water on. I wanted to try that little technique. So that's the end of book one. Um, here's the last page. And where's the first page? Just so you can see. That's the first page. Um, I've had I had so much fun working on this book, and uh, I'm geez I'm I'm about halfway through the second book now, and um, I'll probably maybe do a, a tour of that one if you would like as well. So, thank you very much, and I hope you have a splendid day.